taking their seats, getting their controllers ready, getting concentrated, finding their place. Hello. And we are hopping into Wait. the next match of Winners Top 24. Yeah. Here at Exodus. Lilith Cruz for starters. Lilith is kind of a stage that I find I think um, happens to be picked as a neutral stage very often because like you don't really expect your opponent to pick it, so you don't want to waste a uh, strike on it. And then usually it or often it ends up being the uh, better pick for the other player. Yeah, and here we see um, Nier and his confidence against Sonic. Power shielding and shielding every spin dash that comes and every mix-up. Nice down tilt on the Wait, incoming. And again, you see it like that. Like that, he's really, he's really taking the benefits of this match. Yeah, he knows how to beat out Sonic with his uh, long reach. But yeah, of course, Hatchion is not just a good Sonic, but overall just a good Smash player. He is one that can find answers here. Yeah, both players just kind of keeping their, keeping their space, trying to beat each other out, trying to get a lead. And um, Nier has not been finding a hit in a hot minute now. But percentages are despite not... Ooh, and that's a painful SD from Hatchion. He didn't have his jump anymore, so he couldn't cancel the special move. So now he has to find a kill very quickly on Ike to keep this match um, open. Yeah, but I think um, Ike versus versus Sonic is is like you the first that gets the kill has a very huge lead. Yeah, because it's both have kind of trouble to get in against the other. Yes. Ike because he's not the quickest, and Sonic because he can Ike can just beat everything yes, up. Yes, and it's difficult for Sonic to kill him. It's difficult. Yeah, it's overall not the easiest thing for Sonic to find a kill. Especially against the character with the reach of Ike. Ooh, that was not safe. And the percentage rise for both players. However, Nier still on his first stock. And he is already with all that rage trying to find a kill. I mean, an up air is definitely going to knock um, Hatchion out here. And so will any other strong move like back air. And here we see. Ooh, oh, nice yeah. run! Just runs through him, gives him the hand. Yes. <laughs> and now Nier is also on his second stock. However, the big percentage lead—that's hard. Yeah, One grab, that's hard. and we're back to another 50-50 for Ike. Okay, Hatchion with a nice little follow-up for 40%. Starting to, starting to do some damage against Nier. And now trying to stay safe while still finding some hits. Ooh, and Ooh, the F smash, smash just got outranged yeah. by the jet. I don't know if just that was a, a good bit. option. F smash, Ike wouldn't, it wouldn't have killed Ike at all. And again, going for the F smash. That's risky. Okay, jab. Interesting interaction with the jab from Sonic there because of Lilith, because of the tilt. And now percentages are basically even however Ike has the definite lead in kill percentage but here's a back air Hedgen trying to catch him with down air that was close but I don't think it would lead into anything oh Hedgen yeah, almost got it. the comeback but yes. then Nier just hit Nier. the landing up air uh, landing back air I mean okay, so and gets the first game Ike bans FD or Nier bans FD that's the right choice FD is one of the worst stages for Swordies against Sonic. I'm guessing we're going to Town and City because Sonic wants some space. Yes. Maybe Battlefield because I think Hedgehog yeah, likes Battlefield. Okay, City. Town and City. Yeah, good choice. He likes space. He likes to kill off the top. Then again, so does Ike. If he doesn't kill with back air, he kills with up air. Usually. He won. Yeah, ju Koji just beats Crazy Shroom in winners. Okay. Koji's in top 16. 16, yeah. However, back to the match. Um, 
Yeah, it kind of starts similarly to the first um, match. Both players just trying to beat each other out. Hatchum getting a lead, however, it seems like he has kind of um, analyzed a lot of what Nier does and now approaches differently. Yes. Well, Nier finds some hits now. Of course, whenever Ike hits, he hits so hard. While Sonic just has to find a lot, and now percentages are even again. Finds and an up air, and that's no. bad. The eye nice. nice goes straight up, and he dies off the top of Town and City. His own counter pick kind of biting him a bit. But we see Hedgen use his face. So yeah, of course. I think he's using this stage right. But I think that was just an up air he didn't, didn't think of. He just wasn't ready for yes, it. Yes, he wasn't ready. And yeah, we already saw Hatchion make a comeback in the first game. This is definitely not something he couldn't do, but he has to watch out because Ike has such potent moves to kill off the top. He's gotta be yes. on the edge. The up throw, fair. Another fair. Gets called out. And yeah, Hatchion doesn't seem to have any trouble to uh, tag on percentage. However, Nier is just making his percentage that he gets so much w um, worth, so much more than Hatchion does. Oh, doesn't get the back air there. And now this is already danger percent again. Yeah. Because we saw rage. him die at more or less exactly this in the first stock. And with Rage. Fair at the ledge is enough, back air all over back the stage air. is almost enough, but yes. the back throw gets near onto the second st stock. Hatchion has to do another comeback, but 75%, that's not too much. We saw him do some 40% combos in the first game, and now he's just kind of spacing out, doesn't really want to get in. He still has three and a half minutes, so no stress for him. Nice jab by Nier beating out Sonic again after taking some hits. Tries to go for an up tilt but gets punished for it. 60% on Ike now, 85 on Sonic, that's dangerous. Yeah, that's and those forward airs are so big and they hit so hard. It's so uh, unnerving when you see just Ike jumping there. in front of you, you don't yes, know what he's gonna do. Yes, one grab more and that's it for Hedgen. One fair more, yeah, that, that's and it. Catches that's the, the second jump, game for Nier. Nice. Same band, still FD. I could very well see Battlefield being a counter pick here. Yes, but I think... Just to have a little bit more of longevity, especially towards the top. Yes. But Town could also work out, but like, Hedgeon has to... Th those, like, three or four moments during the game yes. where he gets hit, those are too much. Okay, Hatchion again. Okay, so just a bracket update. Um, Pivix upset at Kepler 3-1. Upset is the past form of upset. Hmm. Yeah, upset, yeah. Upset, <coughs> sorry. And yet, yeah, same... Same Smuff procedure as before. Loser 2 on the same round as Kepler. So, Smuff and Kepler out. Okay. Just Waves holding That's Switzerland in the game. Yes. Waves, Benji and Crazy Room are still yes. in. And me. Yeah, Crazy Room is in losers though. Yeah, Waves and Benji too. Everyone is in losers. Uh -huh. However, back to the match. Um, same story as before, <laughs> really. Hedgeon has no trouble getting percentage in, but can he get the kill before he gets killed? That's the real question. Nice wait for the air dodge, but he doesn't quite get the up air. 113% on near. But he, as long as he's still alive, it doesn't matter. Up tilt, not quite enough. <laughs> yeah. Hedgeon moving around, but he's kind he's committing kind of hard, which gets him punished because Ike just has those safe big aerials where which with which he can make space. Ooh, a bad dash attack, but Hedgeon just misses a big punish, doesn't really get anything out of it. Ooh, dash some attack, suspect DI yes. on this dash attack, but he's still alive. Dash attack. Are we going to see a forward throw? Oh, just Ooh. a pummel into... Okay, that oh, was... Oh, that was... <laughs> big brain play. Yes. However, Eclipse... Oh, uh, not Eclipse. Nier still had 
his double jump and ma could make it back. Ooh, and Hatchion had to read there, just going through him, but he didn't quite commit. And, and that's a forward air. He just that's gets down with the big hitbox. Yes. And now he's behind again. Punishing the jab. Finds some oh, air. So nice. more suspect the eye. Really, sus, sus the eye has been the story of this set so far. Hatchion dying to it every time. Oh, and nice now near two. Oh, that's, and a fair. that's a big like combo. Like 36%. That's like half of your stock if you're playing against Ike. Yeah, Nier makes makes this matchup look very, very even. He, it seems like Sonic has to work so hard for any single hit he gets. Ooh, but off stage now. Both back. Being patient and the pivot grab there, right there to catch the overextension or the undershooting of Hedgen. Yeah, and before you know it, Hedgen is in kill percent already, while Ike is still feeling comfortable and healthy. The forward air, big forward air, and another and one! Forward air catches Just catches him, him floating That's there, the not being ready for it, and Nier beats Hatchion 3-0. That was convincing. Okay. Okay, so... <laughs> Agrafox has actually So I'm leaving, play. I gotta play Hatchion yeah. now. <laughs> <laughs> we wish him luck. <laughs> I'm gonna need it. Now we have CHT against Lancelot. They're walking off the stage, so it's going to be Ness against Diddy Kong. I barely know anything of the Ness Diddy matchup, so I hope I, I hope I can give some good commentary on something else than the matchup. That ah uh, yeah, Smuff is out. Maybe he can come on commentary. Maybe he'll play leather. Yes. Oh, is this a button check? Yes, I think so. Yeah. <laughs> so, it seems like the audio doesn't really work. So I think it's it's the Zero Suit Samus for CHT. Oh, sorry, CHT doesn't play Ness. That was yeah, sorry, it's the wrong one. Um, yes. Now the names are correct, and we see the first Lancelot still holding on to zero percent up throw fair, taking more f one fair more. So one percent now. I didn't see how he how he got it. Seriously, Summit Samus finds the jab, goes for the roll in read. Down to down to up smash, and that's the first stock. 
Lancelot only at 25%. That's quite strong. Quite strong start for Lancelot. Lancelot actually being the best player in Finland. Do we see the rapid jab? Yeah. CHG co just goes for the tether grab to catch him. Up air, up air. Are we gonna see the up B? No, we aren't. Wait, I'll come back shortly. I have to organize something with the leather. Stay tuned. Okay, so now I'm back and Diddy Kong won. Lancelot won this one. I think yeah, it's back on Town and City. Lancelot, the banana, and CHGX actually ready for the banana toss. That's good. Nice wait for Lancelot for the for the jump fair. There we go. Very nice catch of catch of the jump with the banana. It's always it's always funny to see how players react when they have the banana. Some players try to play with it, other stones. And yeah, and actually CHG uses it uses it to his advantage. Yeah, and that's the air dodge reads, the air dodge waits up there. Going for the risky up B for uh, finishing, for the finisher, that's quite risky and I think risky options are not that good. Especially this up B costed him like 20%. And that's it. Get. Oh, oh, that was close I think. Lancelot holding to his 10%, that's that's dominant. I think he will close it out with a, a wait. If we see a rage ladder combo of CHD, that'd be it, that'd be it. Oh, still don't. Maybe he needs, maybe CHD needs some more rage percent, percentage. 
But I think a down tilt up smash will do it now. Of Lancelot. Up throw and immediate up air and that takes the stock for... And that takes the stock. Lancelot going up 2-0 against CHT. Start again on Smash on Town and City. I'm still wondering why he stays on this stage. Maybe did he come ban Battlefield? It's definitely a good stage for or the best stage according to Miru for CSS. And there, yeah, there we see it. Why it's the best stage? Up air, up air, up B. Okay, so Smuff will help me commentate after this set. That's nice. Oh, yeah, never mind. Okay, so guess we are wrong, but this your mic is. Yeah. out but uh, the good thing about this tournament is that we are gonna have a lot of good sets to watch and to commentate I'm yes. jumping into Lancelot versus ZHT ZHT who is the one who knocked me off winners bracket and this looks tense this is a game three that looks definitely doable for ZHT still a small deficit but you know yes, oh that's gonna that be it though yeah that's, that's gonna oh nope. that was very, close, yeah. yeah very nice DI from ZHT able to survive that one that's a neutral there. No follow-up on that one, but yeah, you know a, a small ladder combo or anything. No, that's gonna yeah, be a very be nice uh, up smash. Yeah, yeah, clean 3-0 with that up smash speed. Yes. And uh, yeah, that's gonna be a 3-0 for Lancelot. CHT going to losers. All right, all right. Well, Danger Noodle, you're the chief of the tournament. Well, yes. first, thank you very much for uh, organizing that. This yeah. is amazing. I think everybody here is having an uh, awesome time. Yeah, you except hope. those losing, which is me. Yeah. But <laughs> <laughs> but still, thank you very much for that. Hope you are enjoying your time too. Yes, I am. I'm very tired. Oh, by the way, you can put the mic closer yeah, to your mouth. I'm very tired, but I think it's worth it. Oh yeah, definitely, yeah. definitely. It's like that moment you, you'll see when everything is gone and the weekend has passed. Yes. You're gonna you're, you're gonna be willing to die because of all the work, but also you'll feel awesome. I know that feeling. That's yeah. gonna be cool. Okay. <laughs> anyway, all right. Um, we're having another game of winners most likely uh. yes so we are going to see Hedge Homika against Sonics Homika against Sonics oh yes. that's gonna be an interesting one because uh, I know uh, most people in Germany consider Sonics to be the best Sonic in Germany and that's a strong character to be good at yes. uh, he's gonna have a challenge definitely against Homika the best Rosalina and Luma player Songs. <laughs> we have a request from the streamer to call Sonics Songs. I agree with that. <laughs> I would agree. In the right chat, hope hope you guys are enjoying the stream as well. These games are amazing. We we have so many up and comers that we never heard of, yes, or like people that just like don't. Koji. Koji, yeah, yeah for example, top yeah. Si top 16. Top 16? Yeah, he has to play against the winner of Shesu Shok and Mirakuru. Oh, good shit. It's yeah. uh, top 16 winners. Yes. Hot damn. Oh, no, hot losers. Damn. Now losers. Yeah, losers. Not, All right. not Crazy Shroom. Crazy three, Shroom. Yeah, 3-2. Oh, another Swiss player That's, is falling yeah. down. Do we have any Swiss player left? Um, Do we? Well, Koji is Swiss now. Test done complete. Yeah. <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's Swiss. He's Swiss now? Yeah, now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. He's doing an Koji. exchange here. Koji, yeah. you are our hope. Let's go, man. Let's go, Koji. <laughs> Let's go, Afro. Yeah, we still got Agrofox, Benji, uh, 
Yeah, waves against Aragon. Okay, yeah, that's gonna be an interesting one. Did Aragon win? No, he actually lost uh, his game versus. Oh, let's go waves! <laughs> <laughs> and uh, who, nice. who who did L Aragon lose to to get into losers? Can we know? I. Who? Genarok. Genarok. Oh, Genarok yeah. actually got that win on Aragon. That's an interesting one. Yeah, must ben have been like the Benji's most. Benji still in. Benji won against Pyrrhic, so he's in top no! losers rounds. He's now in losers round four. Oh, <laughs> oh, all right, that was that was an interesting. Yeah, he'll get, play Falco for sure. All right. Um, to know the bracket, you want to Argo? type in this one way. Oh, let's go waves. Bayou and ZSS. He didn't play Falco. All right, so we have some strange dynamics in the tournament. There seems that Oragon went Samus. No, Bayonetta. Samus? Falco Samus against Genarog. Genarog switched, Genarog, uh, switched to Bayonetta and actually won against Aragon. And then Aragon lost to Waves playing Bayonetta and, and, and ZSS. So Aragon is actually out, which is a surprise. He actually had a very strong showing in the beginning. I think the likes of me. And. Wait, Mirakuru just won against Just We Shock. Oh, there are so many, there are yeah. so many sets, so That's many results. What, what, what was that one? Um, it was Mirakuru against Just We Shock. Oh, so Mirakuru. Mirakuru. Damn! All That's right, that's a strong win. Ah oh no, wait. Are we still on? Are they still on the screen? But Mirakuru. Mirakuru. Yo, Mira. An Antonio, we feel. Okay, he's really feeling himself. Yeah, he's feeling himself. <laughs> Yeah. But I think that's another chance for Koji. Yeah? Yes, I think so. What do you mean? Ko Koji can do it. Koji can do it. Yes. <laughs> we, we believe yes, in Koji. I, I <laughs> New, newly Swiss, but <laughs> already a beast. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And can we, can we have a, a set on stream now, please? Can we have some songs jumping on stage? Is songs in the place? Yeah, yeah. All right. With the sunny cap on. Omika is still getting ready, but uh, we're definitely ready to jump into that second round of winners. Hello. Seed 43 <laughs> for Koji! <laughs> Seed 43, <laughs> getting to top 16 winner side. To top 16, nice. Amazing performance. Yes. I hit Bayo though. Bayo? I, uh, yeah, I needed to throw that in okay. the air, like that. Yeah. Okay. I hit a lot of things. I hit. It's okay. I hit Sonic. Yeah. I hit I hit the Paris scene. Everybody is amazing against Falcon. I hit OJ for that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. yeah. I've just Yeah, Falcon Captain Falcon is explosive. So he has his really good upsets, but he gets upset a lot too. That's a thing. Like yeah, uh, because I think at some point any player can edge card him efficiently or get in him one in a tenth chance. And that can happen quite some time in brackets. Definitely. And in order to suck uh, to suck yes. format as well. Uh, yeah, I had actually, problem. yeah, I had a gluttony tell me like, Falcon is absolutely impossible to be consistent with. Yes. Just uh, he he actually told me you can play, you you can play, the same, le at the same level, during two games and one yes. game you win and the other day yeah. you don't. So yes. that's basically what's happened a lot. But GG's to my opponents anyway. The, uh, this was, there were some good sets and now we're jumping right into Homika versus Sonics. This is winner's quarters of Exodus on Battlefield. All right, Sonics trying to... Uh, song. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, any Ryu in this tournament? In this tourney? No, we don't have the Ryu. We had one mute, but he was knocked out. Yep, yep, By yep. Agrofox. By, uh, by Shoryuken in way too much as well. <laughs> yeah. All right, and now we have an advantage for um, Sonics actually finding a 50% lead already. Homika just trying to, you know, um, make that slow gameplay, slow-paced yes. gameplay work. Oh, Luma is going to get knocked out. Very nice from uh, Sonics. And I think Putting Sonics pressure. does have the Rosalina matchup knowledge. Because I think he plays against Bernie Hetero. Against who? Bernie Hetero. I think he's Rosalina main. Bernie Hetero? Yes. All right. He won against Destiny last time. Oh, interesting. All right. So, yeah, he definitely knows what uh, what's up. And we can see it. Like, uh, he's not falling for a lot of stuff, so... He's not falling for the slow-paced uh, neutral game that Homika is trying to dictate. He's uh, just going in when needed, and these kind of phases, yeah, he just he just stand at the edge. He doesn't care and goes through whenever Homika goes in and tries to take a little bit more space. Yeah, that's basically very um, surgical 
um, kind of game plan, right? You just uh, apply what's what's needed, and you will keep it up. Uh, wha what whatever happens. Yeah. Now Sonic's got Luma out, so this is the big chance for Sonic's. Definitely. Now he has to uh, find the kill. I wonder how he's going to do that because well, f what we we've seen so far from Sonic's is very. Um, conservative playstyle. It looks like a bit aggressive, but uh, in the decision making was very conservative. But now that I say that we see two dash attacks actually uh, connecting on Homika, dash attack not being that conservative. All right, so that's going to be a back air. Sonic's on off stage. Is Homika going to be able to? Oh. Nope, no. And actually, yes. Sonic finds a way to knock Luma off. Yes, that's very good, especially if you go into getting edge guarded by Rosalina. A and, and you Luma actually, there, yeah. <laughs> somehow you, you make it yes. back and you knock Luma off. That was yes, amazing. That's mm. But nice up smash from Homika actually getting some more damage. I think now with Luma, he has a good shot at taking that first stock as well. And good turnaround grabs. That's not going to be it. Battlefield is a huge stage, but still, Sonics is in a good spot at the moment. Songs. Songs is in a good <laughs> spot. Very nice spin dash through all that Homika has to offer. Omika just trying to, yeah, yeah. You, you really want to deny that spin, spin dash, but but Songs actually finding a way through again and again. Yeah, I I, I don't know if it's a timing thing. Oh, and oh, that and time, yeah, that no. Get up attack, yes. Get up attack the is gonna take it. Spike. Absolutely, and that looked untakeable as well. <laughs> that 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 hurts. That's. Yo, yeah, well actually, do you see this Luma? It actually fits perfectly for the outfit, for the skin of Rosalina. <laughs> the hair. I'm pretty sure that's a Color. boost. Yeah, that's a boost. That's, <laughs> that's the up smash. <laughs> It's going to be a boost for Gotten. A nice dash attack catching uh, Sonic's landing. And now we're back. We're back at the edge, trying to get some ledge trap going. And the jab <laughs> one, two, three connecting. The down end is not going to take it, trying to snipe the two frames up there. But but very nice ground control from Homika, finding that down tilt, putting Sonic's off stage. But again, Sonic's finding an amazing way to get back on stage and get back uh, that stage control. All right, gonna sacrifice that stage control with a dash attack. Omega trying to put some pressure. Out. Yeah. Yeah, that was the spin shot of Sonic. Sonic likes to do this when he's cornered, but if you read it, Sonic is dead. Yeah, definitely. He has no jump anymore. Yes. He has absolutely no options. And that's gonna be and the upper up that yeah. will take it. And now we're back to the zero percent Sonic with against a rage Rosaluma. So I'm interested to see how Homika is gonna approach that particular phase of the game. Now he has no Luma. Yeah, Sonic's using that invincibility of the uh, the rest respawn uh, in order to get the Luma very effectively. And that's gonna be an up smash. So much damage from Homika. Very yes. clean game gameplay so far. And now he gets Luma back. That's the perfect play here. Mm, yep, yep, yep. And that's gonna be a jab. A lot of damage and Sonic off stage. Homika is gonna sacrifice the whole stage. He knows that Sonic's cannot really uh, stop his spin dash anyway in the middle of it. Uh, else he'll be he'll get punished. So he just sacrifices the whole thing and knows he might actually be able to pressure from the other side of the stage. And now, that's uh, another ledge trap situation. Sonic's again finding an amazing way to get back on stage with yes. that neutral air. That's, don't so, that's so important against Rosalina and that's, That is amazing. Like yes. You're supposed to be uh, the one in, in pain when you're in ledge trap, but Sonic somehow makes it back and hits Homika again and again coming back from stage. All right, there's going to be a jab to punish. Oh, and that's going to be an up smash as well. Yes. That's going to take the first game. All right, Orcs GP Homika takes the first game in an unexpected manner. I'm interested to see um, the stage dynamics as well that we, uh, we're going to see. I'm, yes. not, I'm not really sure that uh, Homika... Like, what you really want to ban against Sonic, obviously, is Final Destination yes. and most likely Town and City. Uh, if you're not feeling comfortable. Tunnel mm. City is not going to be banned because Rosalina is amazing yeah. at that stage. So that, that's not going to be a problem. But I'm, I believe Homika... I might, I, might, I might be saying some trash thoughts at the moment, but I, I believe Rosaluma should do fine on Final Destination as well. You have the flat ground and you can uh. actually play your oppressive gameplay through... Uh, to yes, uh, but I think... Sonic um, Sonic takes more advantage in FT. That's sure. Because that's for sure. Yeah, yeah. easier and mm. can mm. chase you, chase you down. Yeah, and sure. Sonic's um, actually choosing to go to Smashville, which makes sense. So that was most likely a final destination ban uh, into let's not go to Town and City. This is uh, Rosaluma, and finally decided to go to Smashville. That's gonna be a tough one though, because 
Rosalina is pretty good at, at killing on the side as well. And Smashville side blast zone are pretty good, so I'm, I'm in pretty close to the stage, so... Alright, Sonic's finding an opening through that uh, neutral air. Yeah, this is a very much hit and run gameplay at the moment. It's just find the hit, get away, and reset. So you're gonna be able to get on stage. Yep, yeah, just in, in the same exact manner. Just air dodging through the Luma and finding that neutral air. Homika will need to adapt to that one if he wants to, uh, to yeah, to get some kind of damage through, through frame traps. This is, this is something uh, Rosa Luma really needs in order to get. Oh, that's gonna be that's, a forward smash. Yep, yeah. yep, yep. Yeah, yeah. The that's Sonic players yes, do the that obnoxious forward smash yes. out of the screen so yes. much. And that's gonna be the, the stock. And that's a very good lead as well. That's not like a. That's a very early stock. All right, finding a the spin dash in the nair, that's gonna damage Luma a lot. Is is Luma dead? No, no, not just yet. Now so Sonic's is the one. Yeah, yeah, they just cannot ledge trap each other. Yes, Isn't they that just go through. Yeah, I think they're just two two good players that get out of ledge traps because that, yeah, yeah but but I think. Homika should let trap more, or he should let trap better. He reads his options mm, better. Mm. I, I I believe both of, both of them uh, have some work to do in order to yes. counter the options of the opponents. Because you know you still have many more options when you're the one let trapping than when you're the one coming back on stage. So I'm interested to see how they're gonna adapt. Now, all right, Sonic's not going for the same mix-up, but still with that jump and that weird movement with the spin dash. Will be able to make it on stage. Homika finding the jab, putting him in the same spots again. Sonics with the mix up, with a back air mix up, trying to get back on stage. And we're off stage again. All right. And that's going to be a spring. No Luma knocked off just yet. And Homika makes it back. Yes. And I think now even the F smash of Sonic kills again. I think. Oh, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Even that sure. back and throw back might. Yes. Might. I think he will go more for. Yeah, this game, game. Oh, yeah, smash, yes, that force smash at the edge nice. will take yes. a two stock for Sonics against yes. Homika. This is a That's great answer for yes. Homika. And great answer for game and one. That, and that hitbox of the F smash went actually through the stage where Homika had to recover. Mm. So I think that was an easier up, an e easier F smash to hit. Most likely. Most likely an easier one. Um, the Sonics don't need much easier one than than yeah. the the forward smash at the edge yes. is. I mean, uh, as as in forward smash is already amazing at covering yes. even the two frame, and mm -hmm. now you're giving him a little bit more uh, yes. space. I mean, frames to hit that one. Yeah, yeah, you're you're gone, you're gone. You're gone. And, and all that because he placed a very dangerous spring as well. Yes. Because he actually caught uh, Homika's jump. Yes. Uh, he couldn't really jump at us through that one just because of the mm -hmm. timing as well, and, and put him in the back. And, and then BAM! That's a 1-1 one, one, and we're going to Final Destination. Yeah, that's what I was talking about, actually. Like, uh, Homika actually picked the, the Final Destination, so I'm not wow. that bad at judging that kind of stuff. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm glad, I'm glad. That's cool. That's I cool. never thought that he will, he will go to FD, mm. but he will see some benefits, maybe. Yeah, that's the kind of benefits uh, yes. you see. Like you ca Sonic cannot land on platforms, so that's going to be like a lot of up smashes uh, whenever Sonic gets to the ground. Dash attacks most likely as well. Yeah, the up smashes up on the down air. You yes. cannot afford to down air next to Homika. Right, jab, jab. The Luma will knock Sonic's up. And very nice back air. Oh, I just did that. I said nice back air. <laughs> I'm a random commentator now. God damn it. Oh, the up smash not connecting. That's going to be a neutral from Sonic's. Very nice dash attack. This is very much... I already said it, but this is very much a, a hit and run game. We, we see only single hits connecting. This is not about combos or anything. This is about stage control. This is about clutching the, the, the socks as early as possible. That's going to be a forward smash. Oh, is Omika going to get back on stage? All right, spin dash, neutral air. Nice juggling situation for Sonic. Who's going to take the back air? And that's going to take the stock. I'm surprised that killed. I don't think Homika was expecting that back air. And maybe the the, uh, the DI actually caught up there. But that's going to be a down air as well. That's taking it for sure. That Luma down air is so yes, strong at the edge. so strong. All right. Up air on, on Luma. Not finding a way to snipe that Luma just yet. But a lot of damage. And Sonic's trying to focus um, Luna to get her out or to get percentage that she... Um, 
will be killed later on, mm. but she will pop out. Not exactly, yeah. That's important against Rosalina and Luma. Absolutely. So even yeah, if yeah. you get punished oh. um, by Rosalina and Luma isn't, Luma isn't there, it's okay. It's okay because you won't get much damage and the knockback, knockback isn't as strong. Or as high. Yeah, that's for sure. That's for sure. So the, the name of the game at the moment is just a spin dash as, as many times as possible through uh, Rosa Luma so that you can actually damage the Luma in the, in the process. Alright, that's uh, still a small lead now for Nika. Nice Ash attack catching the landing. And up here, denying Sonix's neutral air there. That's gonna be an up, another up, up smash, smash for sure yes. on that downer. Hey! Homika trying his luck at the fourth smash at the edge. Not gonna work. Sonix with a normal getup into roll. That roll goes so far, actually beating Luma's and Rosa Luma's, uh, Rosalina's range. And now we're back on the edge. We are back on that same one. Yep, yep. Homika. Will oh, oh, okay. That was bad okay. DI for sure. That was yes, bad DI. Yeah. So, yeah. He did not expect. I think he tried to space out the neutral, but that didn't yes. work. All right. That's a 2-1. The France, French scene. Very glad about that, I'm sure. Homika just thinking. He's always in this pose. I find it funny. <laughs> like he's actually one and looks like he's about to die, you know. <laughs> Sonic's focused, just getting a sip of whatever he's drinking. I'm surprised he's not wearing the cap. You know, the Sonic cap must be ah, a yes. power-up. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> Looks like a power-up. <laughs> it's like when you're a DK main and, you, and you're wearing the tie, you know? Uh -huh. This is definitely yeah. gi giving you skill points for sure. Mm. Or you know, when you play Bio, that's a power-up as well. It's just, mm. it's just pick Bayo at the beginning. That's yeah, but <laughs> I'm you so should I'm pick sorry. Bayo too. Then you should yeah, pick Bayo yeah, too. I'm sorry. I'm a hater. If you're I catch myself being a hater way too much. If you're, if you're such too much. That, <laughs> that you won't play the best character, then yeah, take it. Yeah, take yeah, it or I'll leave take it. it. No, I, okay. Okay, for Smash 4, I'll take it. Pick a top tier. Look at the, all those tier whores around there. Holy hell. Even the streamer that doesn't play Smash 4 is actually advising me to pick top tier. Jesus. Can but I do my thing? Please? But I think that's something that the Smash 4 community lacks. It's because the Street Fighter 5 community, they switch between characters. Be um, whereas when when the tiers change, whereas Smash 4 players, they stick to one. Well, that's the thing. I don't think uh, Street Fighter players like switching anyway. Uh, I think on in Smash 4, it's very it was very difficult because the patches were coming in and out as well. And uh, the state of the game left, I mean, uh, at, the, at the end, at the last patch, the state of the game was very confusing. Uh, no real top tier was up, uh, but was very known. Like uh, we thought, Bayonetta was actually bad for a moment. So you just yes, imagine that in Skyrim, yeah, it was a weird dynamic. And not only yes. that, but uh, the the characters changed gameplay a lot yes. in Smash Four. In Street Fighter, I'm not gonna pronounce myself We're too much on that one, but that is still mo uh, a much more mechanics um, oriented ga uh, gameplay. So when you switch between characters, you might have a lot to learn in terms of combos, but the dynamic of the game is still rather, yes, the, same, rather right? the same. But yeah. when you go from Captain Falcon to Bayonetta or this kind of stuff, this changes completely, or to Sonic, for example, Sonic to Bayonetta, this changes completely what you can and cannot, uh, cannot do. And, and that changes uh, the, the way to play the game. So it's much harder to actually change. But, but now That's that we're talking, Homika finding yeah. a first stock, very solid lead in that fourth game. Actually, one game away, from taking it and making it to win a semis. All right, and now it's uh, Sonic's turn to actually get in. Homikast knows it. He will play a little bit uh, as passive until he can push an advantage. Just trying to jab through, and, and Sonic has to come in. So what, what's happening now is uh, is Homikast just jabbing it, and, and Sonic's trying to get a fi uh, to find a, a way in. All right, that's a nice catch with that back air. Will knock yes. Luma off, and that's going to be the moment Sonic wants to go in. Finding a good, good grab. No up air. Yeah, trying to go for the up smash. I, I'm not sure that was a good option, yes. but still could have been, uh, could have cat caught a uh, drift in. And Sonic's just giving it all at the moment, just rushing through the air, trying to find that kill on Homika. All right, it's so going to be a jab into no up air. Nice escape with the spring. Mm, he's gonna go for these back airs, but um, he's gonna take a lot of damage in the process if he's only going to back air uh, to, to damage uh, 
Luma. That's that's gonna kill Luma eventually, but oh, that's gonna oh, be that's yep, gonna be yep, it. yep. Yes, Sour spot up air into yes. sweet spot Luma's up yes. air. Yeah, Sonic. That's, that's so, Sonic's so is strong. Definitely, Sonic is smiling because he knows. Like uh, he got hit by the first one. That, that mm -hmm. was it. Like you have to accept yes. the fate. All right, very nice showing from uh, the French player taking its uh, two winner semis. Yes. Semi-finals, winner side. That was definitely expected, but uh, Sonic's with a strong showing as well, taking that first game and making it look very even, actually. Yeah. Uh, until the end. Until the yeah, end. Until the end, end yeah. yeah. You, you get hit by that yes. up air. You, it doesn't look... Yeah. It just looks it like you, you got wrecked. It just, yes. you, know, you can't do much. It just oh, that was six, it says Nobzal. <laughs> I, I I would agree in the, in the man games, but... I'm not sure anybody would agree that an <laughs> Rosa Luma's gameplay uppers are <laughs> that sick. <laughs> I'm, yeah, not, I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe some yeah, maybe players. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not gonna say too much about that. Yeah, and that's the upper. Um, that's the reason why Sonic has to um, kill Luma first. Mm. Because if he kills Luma, Homika can't kill anymore. Rosalina yeah. has trouble finding those kills without Luma. Well, yeah. Or the rage Luma kills. Oh, the, th the, 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 the important thing there is there was very limited ways to kill that Luma and Sonix chose uh, some risky ways to do it. At yeah. the beginning of the set, I actually liked better when he went... Okay. I, I liked better when he went uh, through Rosa Luma with a spin dash because mm -hmm. that was actually free damage without taking yes. it uh, back, right? And then he went for higher rewards, back as on Rosa Luma. Yes. But that has a lot of lag, and Homika actually capitalized on that very well. So, I'm less of a fan of that strategy. Anyway, very nice showing from uh, Homika, and we're gonna jump into that second winner's quarters game. And that's going to be Purple Age versus Tag. Purple Age versus Tag? Tag yes. is still in winners. Yes, he's still oh, in winners. Oh, these French fuckers are doing good. I call you fuckers, but I love you guys. Okay, so in winners are. Purple Age Tag, Genarok Nier, and Homika and Lancelot. Genarok Nier? Both of yes. them are still in? Amazing! Yes. All right, we're going to have some nice uh, character di diversity in there. Yeah. And I'm uh, yeah. excited to see... By the way, did you see that we didn't... I don't think we didn't have a single cloud in doubles at top eight here oh, at Exos. God bless. <laughs> God bless. No, I that didn't see that one. That kind of ended just a tidbit late. With that bracket reset, we really didn't need that. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it was it was too late. It was like it was it was quarter past eleven. Mm. But Agar still, Fox and me commentating. It was. Oh, you yeah, you were commentating. Yeah, we were so <laughs> spacing out. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, didn't see what was I got out. I got out there. <laughs> I I said like nope, yeah. no. I noped out yeah. so fast yeah, when no. I saw the timing. <laughs> All right, sorry, I dropped my job onto you. Mm. But still, still, that uh, that was still it an was exciting two v two. That was very fun. I played with with Dilsit and there yeah, was some strong. Strong yes. games, but but we had a lot of fun. That yes. was the most most yeah. important thing in for two v two for me. I'm not. Did see actually got really far in the amateur bracket too. Yeah, he got so to grand yeah. finals, right? Yes, to grand Amazing. finals. Amazing. Yeah, Losing yeah. against Rom, but still. against Ganon, no. Yeah, but Rom is a very good Ganon. Yeah, it seems like it. Yes. Yeah, and and that's the scary part. A good Ganon. Where do we find that? How do we train against that? Mm -hmm. This is so hard. It's Every time I go against a good Ganondorf, I sweat and well. So far, I've lost every every <laughs> set. Like three, two last hit against Adam, <laughs> against Doctor Dove. So yeah, I'm just glad I didn't, I didn't encounter Ron <laughs> during this uh, Exodus. <laughs> no, I swear, Ganondorf makes me sweat, man. It's supposed to be bad. That's the worst yes. thing. It's yep. supposed to be bad. You but think you can do whatever against him, It's really train, bad but if you really know the matchup. If you would dive into the matchup and yep. really grind it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Be dead well, every that's time. the thing. Yeah, yeah, but, but, but because but, we don't know the matchup, it's. But, Difficult. That's the name it's of the like game here. It's like against Jigglypuff. Jigglypuff mm. matchup isn't that good for you if you don't know the matchup. Yeah, but the yeah the thing because is that it's one thing. Like Koji told me about it. Marth can just grab him, and it's better to go for the grab release than for a throw because you can grab release and then short full hop fair. And that kills really? at 60, 70 at the This is crazy. Ledge. And I say it. If you know the matchup against low tiers, they're yeah. dead. If yeah. you know these little things. They can't recover, they can't come back, they can't win uh. the Oh, that, that, that's a harsh yeah. one. Like the grab yeah. release thing, the that's... Release, uh, yeah, and, and Cloud can actually do grab release up B. No way! And that kills at 80, I think. And that's... Yeah, that's hard. That's hard. Yes. Poor Jigglypuff. Leave, leave, leave something to Jigglypuff, <laughs> man. No, don't don't yes, grind the matchup. He's, he's not that bad. He's so bad that you can win against him without matchup knowledge. 
But yeah, if you know the, the matchup, the matchup, it's that. That's it's the difference over. between Jigglypuff and Ganondorf, in my opinion, still, because. Ga uh, Ganon can still win. G Ganondorf, if you don't know the matchup, that's the scary part is that he hits he like a truck. Yeah. All right, can we have another game? Yeah, we're gonna have Popple H versus the Parisian yes. Luigi. We're having a mess back yeah. at the desk now. I'm sorry, guys. By the way, um, I we, think we, I we have, have to sell <gasps> some drinks right now. So oh, yeah. <laughs> that was what I was uh, yes, about okay. to say. One of our commentators is the TO and also our cashier yes. and also our and bartender. Yes, I'm so everything right now. So. You're everything. You're our man, the man of the situation. So I'm going to have to comment it that alone. Hopefully, you guys will tolerate me. Awesome. All right, all right. Enthusias. Tag setting up. I'm very much interested to see how the dynamics of that game is about to go. I think Tag has a shot of showing some cool stuff. Tag has a shot. No, I'm not sure you can actually win against such a high caliber cloud with Luigi. But I'm expecting some nice combos and some uh, nasty stuff coming from Tag. He just came back from America. Has some, he's got some good grinds against all the top tiers over there. So I'm pretty sure we're going to have some nice showing still. Can I have a sofa here too? <laughs> no? I, I'm seeing everybody in the audience actually uh, sitting down on that comfy sofa and I'm like sitting on the high chair in wood. Can I have a sofa please? No? Somebody share. Nobody want to share. Holy shit. Alright, alright. I'm doing all the dirty job and not even Sitting like down correctly. This tournament sucks. <laughs> what do you have to say to that? <laughs> Alright, I'm complaining and the streamer actually looks at me and said, Well, I've been sitting here for 10 hours and makes me look like a whiner. Alright, Basti, alright. I would love to jump into the game fast though. What I'm going to do is that I'm going to set up a chat, a Twitch chat just in front of me so that you and I guys can discuss. This is not going to be an easy part, commentating this alone. Cannot discuss during uh, in between games. That's going to be an interesting one during the set. I'm sure I'm, I'm going to have no trouble commentating the explosive gameplay of Tag versus Purple Age. And yeah, we're jumping right into it. And that's first blood by Tag, finding an up air. And putting Purple H in a, an, on the side of the stage, cornered al already. But, but yeah, that's something that uh, nobody expects from a cloud here. Purple H can actually reliably shield drop. And a shield drop up is so strong as cloud. That you can actually drop from the platform and up air, it's already strong. People uh, are expecting it. But the timing with the shield up is uh, amazing. Like you have absolutely no frames of, uh, of of startup on that one, and that's gonna be a nice back here putting Populate off stage. Hello. Oh hey there! Thank you very much for coming, helping me commentate that awesome game. We're th what we're seeing at the moment is Tag trying to find a way back on stage and Populate harassing that dude. And that's gonna be a back here again. Yeah, very nice dash dancing. Uh, Oh, and very <laughs> nice down air as well, catching that two frames. Yeah, Luis's recovery can go really far, but very unpredictable and sometimes very, very punishable, just like that. Mm, and the jiggle situation is going to be scary as well for, uh, for Luigi. Yeah. Those are both um, very difficult weaknesses to deal with when you're playing against a good clown. Yeah. Plus, juggling game is just so good that, like, if you just get hit once, you're going to get hit five times at least. Mm, is it going to be a sour spot down air into an up air? Juggle situation again, but Tag finds a net out through. That's gonna be a that holy. I, I thought that that was about to kill. This is yeah, so it really looked like that uh, because Luigi like uh, flies so far. Mm. Uh, and oh, that's gonna, gonna be another down yeah, again. another down air. Yep. Nice catch out of that jump. Oh. All right, Sturia is gonna have, uh, need to help. Yeah. 
Propole H who's having some issues with the headphones. His headphones are not working properly, apparently. Mm. That's something that's important, you know. Sound really does matter. You yeah, know, yeah if definitely. You're, uh, that if, you're, if you're not listening to music, that like it, it can change your game plan. Or if you're listening to music, it can also change your game plan. Like, <laughs> completely. That's thing, yeah. yeah, yeah and, the, and, pressure, that. and pressure as well, you know. So listening to the game audio can be really like... Uh, for some players, just listening straight up to the game audio and not having a crowd is very important because the crowd can be a lot of pressure. Well, that plus the fact that we're actually commentating live for all the crowd as well. So, yeah, so if, you, if you're not, yeah. can hear, uh, the players can hear us. <laughs> if, if if you were hearing the commentators just say again and again, like he's on the edge, getting pressure, he's in about to live, and yeah. that stuff, uh, that puts a lot yeah. more that, pressure that on yourself. I'm sorry, oh, who won? Purple H <laughs> won the first game by dunking on uh, tag twice in a row. Yeah. He mains bio. It's okay. Series game starts now. Says a Parisian smash. Oh, that's that's uh. The, a meme now. I guess Tag is now a bio uh, main. Oh yeah. He's been playing a lot of bio. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I remember just saying, oh, he's not playing his main, and then I just heard I think it was CHT saying, yes, he is. <laughs> and I was like, okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Oh, like people switch bio. mains constantly, and it's not it's not like obscure to see somebody switch from a character to Bayonetta. We've seen it a lot. Mm, definitely a like, lot yeah, lately. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it yeah, used for to sure. be like, oh, Tweak plays Bayo for fun, but now it's actually his main. You know, like. Well, for Tweak, yeah. that makes a lot more sense. But yeah. for for Tag, it looks looked like his strength was yeah. to be that solo solo trick. Uh, I mean, one trick Luigi that played so well. You know, it's a scary thing. But now with Bayonetta, this is not an obscure matchup anymore. So the obscure matchup didn't help him out uh, in that first game. So he switched directly to that top tier, trying his luck uh, against Purple H in a much more I I want I want to say honest manner. But uh, he's playing Bayonetta, Bayonetta, so I'm gonna take that back. I mean, Bayonetta's not honest at all, but at the same time, it's pretty honest to play the best character in the game because yeah. you want to win. Oh, I agree, I agree. <coughs> Both of them know the matchups for sure. That's the uh, weakness of playing a top tier. And this, yes. That was a very nice spacing on that uh, on that grab, actually. Oh, and that's going to be a down B, oh. limit down B on the platform tech chase, but that's not going to kill somehow. We saw the lightning though, and all. This is this match is very it's much more closer than the last one. So I agree, Bayonetta I agree. switch definitely did work out. Mm. You get a lot more hits in, and you get a witch time like yeah, that. Yeah, it's going to be a witch and time that could be the kill. Charge. Yep, charge up smash is going to take it. First stock for tag, catching Purple H off guard on that edge. All right, we have some platform pressure. Very nice up tilt to forward. Uh, unfortunately, landing on the platform, he's not going to be able to keep the combo up like that. Oh, there's oh. down smash. <laughs> Didn't expect that one. Didn't see that one coming. This I don't stage, think it. This stage benefits for both characters very much because not only can Cloud uh, juggle you on those platforms, Banana can use those platforms to elevate her combos to even higher potential. Mm. So both characters really like this stage. So it's really about which player, like, how they use the platforms as well. Mm. But sometimes you don't even need those platforms. You just need Limit Climb Hazard. And that's going to be it. Purple H taking the first stock in this game. Mm. A Cloud that can reliably catch get-ups without OP is so scary. Because he can actually turn around up B as well, out of shield. Yeah. And, and get the uh, the uh, the roll, right? Imagine if Cloud had like the, the gimmick that Ryu and Ultimate has, where that like, he, if, he, if your opponent turns around, oh God. you will walk around. You what, what are you talking about, nightmares? Oh, You're no. gonna scare people off the stream, stop. This is gonna be like, <laughs> stop. Yeah. No, it's Halloween. It's, ha it's, it's Halloween, Halloween. It's spooky stuff. We, we, gotta, we gotta talk <laughs> about this. <laughs> gonna spook you out, guys. We're gonna spook you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, nice up B. That Ooh. will be some damage, but good SDI from Purple H. Yeah, making it out without taking too much. Well, that's gonna be two side piece in two. Nope. Purple H answering with his own neutral and putting tag on the edge and ledge trapping tag very well as well. Yeah, talking about spooking, it seems like tag's mm. Bayonetta Ooh, is gonna doing be some work yep, here. Yep, yep. What an amazing combo as well, catching every uh, every DI from Purple H. Yeah, that was a very, very great combo because he read the DI completely. That's why you could do that. Absolutely. You, oh, after that side B, I can do up, I can do up B. And you really gotta like this one finger Bayonetta, like against these top players, it's not easy doing these combos. You need to know how they're going to SDI. You Absolutely. need to know exactly Absolutely. About you have to it adapt, because yeah. everybody knows how the SDI Bayonetta combos at this level. Like Purple H Absolutely. playing Bayonetta himself definitely knows it. Yeah, still feeling confident, smiling at the camera. All right, Purple H, let's see what you have I mean, you in gotta, that third you, game. You got, you got, you got to feel confident. That the level is that you know. Definitely, definitely. You have, you have, you have some kind of like uh, pride. You need to, uh, you need to keep, make sure you keep. You know, mm. you have like this, uh, the status you need to keep. And we got the Bayonetta Ditto coming Jesus through. Jesus Christ! Already oh. Nuno Squatters. <laughs> guys, uh, that's gonna start with a witch time. Yeah, for okay. sure. Two backers. That's gonna be 39 okay. damage. 
Okay. Little bit more. And another one. That's oh, no, wow. never mind. All right, Mom Spaghetti is there from tag. Still gonna find a way to get the combo back, but Power Shields it for from Purple H, and now it's now his combo. Ooh. Another witch time, and more spaghetti from tag. This is a Parisian special. <laughs> I we just need the Parmesan on top, and now it's coming out. Alright, All right, let's see what Tech can do here oh. against Germany's finest Bayonetta. Actually finding the other tree. I think Longa plays Bayonetta as well, honestly. I'm oh, sorry? Doesn't Longa play Bayonetta as well? Longo. Longo, yeah. Longo, yeah. yeah. Is Longo the best Bayonetta? Oh, two witch times Actually, everywhere. Yeah. I don't know. I think, going for it? I, I think maybe his Bayonetta has gotten better results. I'm not sure. I wonder, I wonder, but at, at, at the moment, what we're seeing is a very even game yeah. still. And Tag finding that back end, he's oh. gonna take that first dog. Paris and the French audience. You can hear the crowd is getting, getting lit. really, really hyped for this. Yep. Man. Because, like, even if people like to hate on Bayonetta, they're those, there's something special about them. Definitely. When you play a character that completely changes the game and gives you a bunch of new options, it becomes a lot more like if two people are playing Bayonetta, it's not just one character dominating. Yeah, it's, it's like it's two people playing a whole new game. It's like a, so much more hectic and sometimes it's a lot, it's a lot very exciting to actually see these uh, this character uh, play against each other. Mm, and that's gonna be a nice oh, heel side into oh, a combo and that's gonna be an up air. Oh, 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 oh no! Oh what? Our <laughs> that was a crazy face. I have no idea how Popol H actually managed to get that kill there. Oh, oh and that might be oh, an up smash kill. Yo. Oh, yep, we're hearing Purple H flying through the air. Tag takes game two. The most confident German okay, player is uh, about to be shook. I uh, think we he already is shook. Is shook? Like you, th honestly, you think so? Yeah. You think so? I think well, I'm really interested to see how he's about I'm to answer that. His, I'm not seeing his laugh towards the crowd anymore. No. <laughs> and we're seeing the French scene as well getting Wait, lit. Wait, what? I think the whole European oh, scene at the moment is just... Uh, I thought he had his cursor over uh, Dr. Mario. I was like, what? Oh, yeah. <laughs> this, case, this kind of counter picks. Gotta play the true top tier. <laughs> oh, we, we see... we see In the chat, we have a... Purple H will not get upset. And we have a... Tag will not get upset. Oh. From a Parisian player. France versus Germany. Where have we seen this before? Bro? All right. Longo actually saying... Sir John and Samu currently the best buyers in Germany. Rectifying us. And Purple H going right back to Cloud. Okay. Oh, getting, getting, okay. getting which time already? That's going to be a lot of okay, damage. Okay, that's a lot of damage. That might be a kill already. Is oh, that's 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 oh, that's God. Oh, God, that's a zero to death for Tech <laughs> coming through with the flex tape combo. <laughs> six, six, Catching eight. up Cloud off the skies. Everybody the lighting up for a Bayonetta winning now. The yeah, I see you guys. The I see you. The second he attached his dominance to Cloud, he just had him. That was stuck. No going back. There was no... That flex tape was holding on tight, man. Mm, and that's going to be a hill side into another up oh, air, up air. Up okay. That's going to be another up okay. and up air. That's a not okay. Oh tag. my goodness, Tag! Two stalking purple age. Tag the Bayonetta, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's what gonna, even? That, like, now, now he has nothing to say about that. What? Put the Luigi away. Put that character away. That set was... Oh god, that that's a rough one. That was a statement from Tag. Yeah, that's a rough one. That was a statement. That's a rough one. Yeah, that's a 3-1. Not only did he beat Purple H, he beat him in the ditto. Yeah, that's a rough one. But very Snow nice performance. Yeah, they, that was definitely a very nice performance from Tag. Yeah. Uh, actually beating the, the favorite of the tournament, the number one seed of the tournament there. And, well, yep. that's, that's something to be said about that, about the Paris players. Because so far they have shown so much strength and well, they have been they have been a bit a bit underrated in yeah. the tournament in terms of seeds, for example, Aragon being seed two, this kind of stuff. But also underrated in the top seeds as well. Yeah. For example, Tag taking a three one with that commanding two stock. Yeah. That's that's something to be said about that. I'm excited to see how Tag is gonna fare in that yeah, uh, yeah, winner yeah. semis now. I mean, I mean, just seeing that, like, as if you know you're gonna play Tag, if, uh, that's gonna that's gonna assert some dominance on you. That's that's gonna that's gonna shook you up. So I think uh, mm. Tag's opponent, uh, when he saw that, or probably was thinking like, all right, better look out for this Bayonetta. Yeah, you know, definitely. If you practice the Luigi matchup at home because you're like, oh, okay, or right, uh, yesterday because, oh, I'm going against Tag. But, that, uh, yeah, that's the juke. That was the plan all now along. Now you're not going against Luigi anymore. He, he, he's saying he's a Luigi main, but that's the plan all along. Luigi, <laughs> Luigi main, he says. Yo, ta Tag, Tag, no, Tag, <laughs> no Tag, fake, he says. Tag, do you have something you want to say to the stream? Uh, yeah, Luigi is a great 
character. Luigi's a great character, <laughs> says, yeah. <laughs> definitely a great character. Actually, <laughs> Jesus Christ. He, he says he tweeted Bio, Bio says that Luigi made no fake as well, oh, just yeah. to make sure. So maybe Purple H fall, fell for the trap. Yeah. Actually practiced against Luigi and yeah. got wrecked in the Ditto. Yep. Yep. You always get it, no matter who it is, you always get prepared for Bayonetta because anybody can throw Bayonetta. Mm. Like anybody. If they feel pressured enough, you know Bayonetta is just that good. You're not going to waste the opportunity. Like. Nope. Oh, thank you very much. I was about to answer to the chat, but the streamer is on point. We're not just yet into top eight, so uh, Purple H going to uh, drop into losers very early. Even even before top eight. Yeah. Like that. That's yeah. early. That's and that, and that's, early. And that's basically rip for all the guys that wanted to make a good run into losers, you know? Yeah. Like uh, with, that, with that anime mindset. Try, yeah. try, trying to get like, this is my day. I'm yeah. going to make the losers run back. I'm going to get into grand finals. Yeah. Purple H comes here and says, nope. I mean, my, I'm a, I myself have that anime mindset. So like, in this situation, if I was still in ragged, I'd probably be like, okay, Purple H is in losers. Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, okay, let's, let's do there's, this. There's not, on, there's not only the the tournament going on on stage, we also have a ladder going on. Oh, yeah? Uh, oh, you're actually your, waiting for the game? For yeah. a game. <laughs> I am actually here waiting for my game. Okay, uh, you're commentating because you're yeah. waiting for the I'm game. I'm commentating because I'm well, waiting for my game. Because you know what? One important thing is, even if you do bad in like, bracket, or even if you feel like, oh, okay, I didn't get to show off anymore, or like... Or stuff like that, you know. You still gotta keep moving on forward. And to me, it was like instead of dwelling on the loss you got, you should move. You know, you should think, okay, what's next? What's oh, definitely. Next? You need and to. And now there's a ladder, and uh, that's an opportunity to show off, I, an opportunity I, to practice I, I pressure. Yeah, I love that system. Yeah, no, I, actually, I actually run my tournaments <laughs> without a a pool face, and I, I go, I jump straight into the brackets. Uh, I mean, in a ladder, and I give a prize for the ladder. Oh. For me, as a TO, this is the best um, way. To make a tournament that is easy to run, like no pools, uh, weird stuff, you have like a triangle situation in that stuff that you avoid, and you still can give um, the players that will get knocked out early in the tournament a run for their money. Yeah. Still getting matched against players that are their level mm. as well, because yeah. when, you, when you run into round robin pools, well then, the first seed usually you don't win against them. No, Maybe no, no, no. the second seed you have a shot, yeah. and the other ones, well, it's not interesting because you're not winning anything from getting a win from them. No, right? that's difficult. So I believe that formula with the ladder is a better one. But we're jumping into ZHT versus Waves in Winners Quarters right away. It's not Winners. No, Wait, this never mind. Losers. Yeah, this, this is definitely is losers. losers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Waves I thought so as well. Okay. Waves was actually the guy uh, who beat Amazon. Yeah, 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 he actually upset. Oh my god. Yeah. Uh, but Evergon chose not to go with the Falco. He chose to go with the Bayonetta and. Uh, no, wait, uh, the Samus and the uh, Seriously Samus. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, uh, Waves actually practiced this matchup a bit against Amragon, but uh, CHT, very different player than Amragon when it comes to the Seriously Samus. No, this is Tag, right? Well, that's actually a funny story. You know? It's good, Tag. Yeah, they're using. Uh, the thing is, they're using each other's tags because they have the same tag. Yeah, they have yeah. the same play. Like, uh, that's, oh, that's going to be a nice paralyzer. Here, getting the tech chase and finding a way to put some more damage as well. But, but it seems that Waves is able to keep the pressure on and keep the lead in preview. Yeah, but CHT is really good just using these platforms to just cover every single option with Sonic. That's very fun thing you want to do against Sonic. You want to cover all the ground because when Sonic doesn't have the ground to use, his speed doesn't really get to be used too much because in the air he's really vulnerable. Oh! And that's what CHT shows right there. Oh! You can always go for those. Sometimes you gotta be prepared at that. Yeah, okay. well, that looked painful to be honest. Yeah. Oh. I mean that up B is just painful. It's like a quick kick up in the air and then it just finishes you off. Yeah, plus the plus you know the, the uh su combo is me combo factor. Yeah. Yeah, it's just like you, you were expecting getting a kill over there and, and, and ZHT says nope this is mine and gets it out. So now we're in a lead situation for okay. tag. Okay. Is he able to find another nope nope no air dots like from waves. Tag. I'm sorry. You're calling him tag. Oh, I did I? Yeah. <laughs> Let's it's go tag. You always, Let's go look, tag. At the, you always oh. look at the, uh, the tags though, because the tags are uh, about, like the game tags are, mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. are not and too this easy is to look at while you look at the gameplay. So you usually just look at the in-game. Yeah, yeah, this is a meme in the very scene as well. Like uh, because they they play uh, with each other's tag yeah. anyway. Whenever ZHT wins, everybody says, "Let's go Paris, tag." Paris got like, epic memes. <laughs> the Paris scene is awesome. But here at the moment, we're in Souk loses round four. Let's see what our Swiss boys have against the Parisian scene. It looks rough at the moment, I'm not gonna lie, but ZHT is entering the percent where Ooh, this kind of stuff air. is gonna kill yeah. for sure. Very nice read on the on the jump, catching it with a strong hit back air as well. Alright, that's gonna be an up air. No up B denied by the spring. 
And now we got some more pressure. ZHE just trying to find some more damage in order to kill with a back air or something reliable like that. Alright, Waves respecting the Paralyzer as well, trying to find an opening with that forward air, but... Ooh, here comes the Sonic damage. No. That was an opening for a louder combo. ZHT protecting the ledge very well, but Waves makes it back. Tries to find an opening on the platform. ZHT is productive with that. Mm, oh, that's gonna be okay. a whiff grab. That's gonna be a whiff punish for sure. You can whiff two through seven grabs. That just doesn't work, and it might end up punishing you. Oh, oh. there's gonna be a back air. Waves living by the skin of his teeth, but oh, not okay. out of trouble just yet. I think right now Waves just has to wait for CHT to get way too close to him, where that Sonic just has the upper hand, and then from there just uh, get a ladder going, or maybe just get him off stage. Just keep stage control. Because uh, I guess the character, which uh, Sears and Samus is quite fast. You want to keep stage control against the fast characters. Even mm, that's a fast character. That back so is going to be there for sure. That's yeah. a 1 0 for ZHT. Yeah, ZHT had yeah. the stage control there. Well, the platform, drop down, get the quick back air, mm -hmm, and that was just mm -hmm. the Precise back air. Precise, very uh, surgical, in, in a very surgical manner, really. You really pra you got to practice those back airs. Definitely. Like, every Definitely. character with a back air, trust me. We all, we all back, uh, us back air characters, we all practice. Us back air. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah, definitely, definitely, Falco. <laughs> Uh, you only you only have that, so that's kind of the easy way to practice. And, and for and for and, and for what it and, is and laser ish. and laser limit recovery. Nah. And down here to kill you. Nah, okay, nah, nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll so get to prove my point another day. Moving into game two. Moving straight to game two, we are now on Smashville, which is ZHT's pick. Totally makes sense. He wants to kill off the top, but also off the side with that uh, reliable. Oh, okay. He went for the flip kick. Unfortunately, not connecting just yet. It's gonna be some pressure. Everything has been shielded by the waves, not getting uh, CHC get in too easily. And now, yeah, no punish on that whiff grab, but uh, but Ooh. wave is still on the edge, so ZHT is able to keep the pressure on. All right, ZHT now fishing for the neutral airs on the shield. Obviously, if he gets a neutral air, that's an instantaneously. Uh, instantaneous down B. Yeah. All right, that's an up air oh on the platform. No. The spring up air did not connect. ZHD not uh, dead just yet, but we have a nice lead from Waves. Um, making it back from a difficult, difficult first game. Oh, it tries to go back there. No punish in the down here. You know there was lag on that. That's really where you got to be open and punish uh, Sonic. If you're not focused to do that, then uh, Sonic has another opportunity to hit you, and that can win the game mm. or the set or the stock. Definitely, case. definitely. Oh, the, the the spin dash with the nair is gonna make a lot more damage. Uh, oh, the back air finding nair for waves. Exactly. Taking exactly. the first stock of the game. That's a rough one. Like, yeah. What do you think generally about this matchup, though? I'm I'm interested. In, I'm interested in that matchup. I'm not that uh, knowledgeable in the matchup, but I know ZSS has the edge just because of Paralyzer, most likely. Yeah. So uh, what we're gonna see a lot of uh, spin dash denial, but still a lot of damage going in uh, from Sonic if if you get spin dashes. And what we're seeing uh, as a game plan from Sonic is try to catch uh, the ZSS's jumps as uh, as often as possible, right? And yeah. that's what we're seeing. Like every stock from Waves so far has been a backer. A back air on the on the rising jump from ZHT. Yeah, so that means Waves is catching him uh, on guard uh, off the ledge. Uh, so that's really really good because that means he's adapting to the way he's recovering back mm. to the stage, which means CHT now has to start to understand that. Oh, I can't do that. But he can but definitely he can, do that. He can definitely do that, yeah, definitely and he should do be that. doing more of that. Uh, and then he can uh, make sure that he takes the second game as well. Uh, but Waves uh, holding up the well ball now actually uh, in the lead. And uh, trying to get in here, but yeah, Sears and Samus with that Paralyzer, uh, projectiles against Sonic, it's always been fatal for him because it stops his momentum in a way, but some characters just don't have the right projectile, uh, and you can't stop him in the same way. But Sears and Samus Paralyzer definitely does work in this situation. And there you go. Looking at the Paralyzer, it's gonna be Paralyzer, jab one, two, three. Just a little bit of damage, what uh, ZHT needs at the moment. Now Sonic is entering the dangerous ladder place. Yes. And you basically need to play against Sonic like Sega made their Sonic games. You stop the momentum. I'm sorry. 
You basically need to play against Sonic, like Sega stopped the Sonic games. You need to stop them mentally. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's what you're trying to do all the basically, time. Basically, yeah. Mm. All right, nice up there. Basically to ruined the only part about Sonic that was good. Oh, that's going to be a back here. No, make just Sonic yet. a good character. All right, we think another grab. Waves is having some trouble punishing those grabs, by the way. Yeah, that's like a, it's one thing that's very important in this matchup. If you don't punish those grabs, uh, you won't get any opportunity like that again uh, if you're not careful. Mm, that's a dangerous spot. That's oh, definitely yeah, a dangerous spot. Oh, yeah, that's a definite spot. dangerous spot, definitely, yeah. But, but... Uh, nice TI from Waves, actually. He actually knew, like, the reverse. He saw it, and he reacted and to it. Yeah, yeah. Talking about, talking about killing, talking about the eye, there is no way to actually leave that back here in, at that percent. Waves will take that second game pretty easily, pretty handily. Just a dangerous moment with that neutral air connecting, but the rest of it was very convincing from Waves. We can definitely see something happen. Oh, you're, you're still looking for game. Come on. Oh, I'm not moving from here. I just want to watch all those amazing games. Like yeah, Waves yeah, yeah, yeah. Waves versus EJC, I'm definitely rooting for my Swiss but boy. But you're, you're still in bracket, right? No, I'm not. You're not out? No, I'm out. Okay. I lost to uh, ZHD. Oh, yeah. That's why he's here at the moment. Uh, Parisian is very solid against Falcon. Yeah. Sorry. And then I lost to Lunar. They got Ogi, you know, I think. Or is Ogi yep. from another region? No, nope, he's uh, from right there. ZHC yeah. told me like he has like 30 sets against OG, so... Oh yeah, that's <laughs> definitely... <laughs> that's a rough one. That was a real rough yeah. beating, to be honest. Amazing set. I mean, amazing performance from ZHC so far, by the way. I'm very glad to see so many French players coming in. Uh, 2-1. Two, 2-0. Uh, two, 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 oh, no. No, wait. 2-1. Two, two, one. No, wait. 1-1? One, 1-1. One? One, one. One, one. All right, one kind of confusing here. Okay, Waves actually deciding to stop the spin dash. This is something that ZHC could punish. I'm not sure he has a very good, great punish that would make the risk reward worth it, but that's something, um, that's some kind of weakness he has to adapt to. All right, nice tower spot back here as well. That will take his combo just a little bit further. Waves playing a very slow-paced gameplay that is uh, much effective. Just trying to find the opening and then pushing it. Just trying to deny the ground for ZHC to land on. And it's working out very, very well now. He's understanding how to limit uh, Sirius of Samus, which is at the ledge. At the ledge, she does uh, very bad. But she has flip kick, but it's predictable. Mm. Uh, so it's on the ground when she uh, gets back on stage, has stage control. That's when she's uh, very dangerous. So uh, Waze, really good here. Continuously pushing the wall here. Just making sure that he's always keeping the CHT away from him. Oh! oh! Finds the opening, but nope. makes back. 136%. I was really expecting that to kill, but... ZSS's recovery is amazing. He actually makes it back. And that's there into grab is not gonna take it. The upper not connecting. Waves actually finding a way to make it back and to make some damage again. And now he's in uh, control of the ground. Yeah, that's oh, gonna be a turn around grab. That's gonna be it. It's gonna be a turn around grab, a back throw from the edge. And now Waves in a very comfortable lead for that third game. That's one thing you're only gonna see at Smash Smashville, this percentage, you know. With the back throw. Yeah, definitely, definitely. So, really good choice from. Uh, Actually, no, it was CHT who counterpicked to this stage. So, why would he counterpick to... Maybe because the platform, in a way, can... I don't know, Sirius of Sabbath does mm. have a couple of horizontal uh, kill combos. But mostly, she's off the top, you know? That's true, but... Uh, it's small when, when you don't and there's less space for Sun to run. You, you want to kill off the top, but the thing is... Uh, you also want, whenever, whenever the percentage is high enough, to kill off the side with that upbeat. So that that's actually true. makes the uh, the uh, the kills much earlier, right? Yeah, that's true, actually. Oh, oh and the, the back air! Yeah, the back air connecting. Not killing just yet. I have no idea how Waves survived that one. Clean the eye. But yeah, not out of trouble just yet. He has to find a way back. Uh, ZHC with a clean pressure on the ground. That up tilts. Waves will catch him. Overextended just a bit too much with that down air, though. That's going to be a spin dash through. And oh. a back throw. Just more damage. Some more pressure. Uh, ZHC oh. trying to find a sneaky way to take that stock with and that down B. Waves is just keeping the ledge here. Mm. And now he finds the up air after the spin dash. Very nice air dodge, ZHC with the presence of mind. Not to get hit by dangerous stuff up there. Not going for another up B either. Mm. That looked like a dangerous situation on the platform there. Uh, definitely. Is that going to be... No, no, no. There's not going to be a chase. Uh... 
Waves at... playing conservatively. This is looking very different than oh, game one. Oh, yep, yep. That almost killed. That spin dash into up. It will take it the next time it connects. Yeah. Waves is uh, almost getting a two-stock here. Let's see if he can pull it off. Mm, yeah. Nice out of Slu. The oh. up air will keep ZHC in control of that stage. And yeah, those empty hops are starting to get a little bit predictable, but working very well to control that stage for ZHD. Now right Waves here. is back to his game. Right, right. He knows he has a lead. He doesn't want to drop it. So, oh, oh nice. very, yeah, yeah. That up air, that late hit up air was actually per uh, spaced perfectly in order to avoid Waves aerial and actually get the kill. Yeah, Good stuff. But that's going to be a back throw oh. of the side. Yeah, yeah 130. Good. This is definitely going to be it. 2-1 right. situation for the silent gaming player. Our last hope boy. No, never mind. We have, co wait, wait. How many fr uh, Swiss players do we still have? Koji, Koji for sure? Koji's out. No, the the Afro dude is out. Benji just lost. Damn. All right, Benji lost, but three to last hit versus Sonics. So, wh wh where did Kepler go? Kepler is out a long time ago. I'm sorry, Kepler. Against P Weeks. Uh, yeah, yeah. A rough uh, mutual matchup. Mirakuru is playing Purple H. Yeah, Mirakuru. All right. Mirakuru is actually the one who took me out. Very prominent Ness. Very, very patient. I and, hit it. Uh, <laughs> I, I know. If he, I don't know if you can pull off the offset, but uh, I was gonna be interested if we see for him sure. On, yeah. If we see him on stream, we know what happens. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. All right, let's jump into that fourth game right away. And we fourth are on game Lilat. on Lila. Very interesting pick by ZHD here. Most likely uh, willing uh, to use those platforms anyway and not give uh, too much room. Yeah, and you can see waves. here how it works out. Uh, Sirius of Sabbath, if you can hit you and you're trying to escape it, you're most likely going to want to DI away to the side, you know? And there is another platform for Sirius to hit you. That might yeah, be his yeah, game yeah. plan. Exactly. These platforms with a... You don't need that much, that high of a platform with ZSS in order to connect uh, Fatal Ladder Combo, right? No, no, So no. You, you just need the platform to make that jump reset happen. Yeah. That combo reset. And just need to jump reset, on it and the app. Two more up bears, then it is up B, and then uh, off the top. Exactly. And that's something you go, yeah, exactly. Uh, we, we can see is that kind of stuff coming from Waves, too. The, you know, that up throw up air is very scary of the platform. So ZHC has to pay attention. He has to pay attention to those spin dashes grabbing so much damage so far. 125%. It's a, it's a difficult spot to be in already. No, all right. Nice there into the down throw. Some weird coverage coming from ZHC, but that's gonna be. Oh, yeah. yeah! Yeah, yeah, He caught the two frames with that down smash into that down B and made up for all that deficit he has on that first start. The classic Zero Suit Sam is set up, getting him right there, and uh, it's looking way more better. Mm, but, but, Waves actually finding the way to reset that game and only 6% deficit. This is basically a non existent, exactly what I was saying, non existent lead here for ZHT, getting hit by that up and, and wow, that was a confident grab. Yeah, both of these characters, they don't really care too much about percentage. They just want to uh, hit with the ladder, you know. Mm. They could kill I, I would say 40. that Sonic still, still, still well, you know, yeah, so wants the, 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 the person lead on all more, that yeah, stuff. A little yeah. more, but still, both characters can technically still uh, kill at 40% each. Like, Absolutely. Off the top if they want to. Absolutely. So it's all about fighting that opening, but uh, in this case, Waves just need to make sure he keeps the stage control because he is about maybe to take out CH2. Yeah, he's yeah, yeah. on his last stock, and he's probably the last guy, uh, last player from Switzerland, uh, except Nico Kuro, but one of the last guys. Switzerland. One of the last guys. And uh, and almost getting Lila to that game four. That was a scary spot for the Swiss boys. All right, that's going to be an up throw up air, grabbing some more damage. All right, and, and we're back to a uh, slow-paced gameplay that we know waves for. ZHC got a nice read on Nerdot, but wasn't able to capitalize on that, unfortunately for him. Oh, that's a scary spot. You don't want to be on that platform against uh, shielding Sonic. ZHC get away, getting away from there as fast as possible. And now we're back into a neutral game situation. Yeah, that's something we... Ooh. That's something Waves has been avoiding very well. Uh, you know, the Paralyzer in order to counter yeah. the spin dashes. It's, it's, it's actually uh, what we thought was going to be like the most prevalent thing in this matchup to stop Sonic. But Waze has been really good playing around it. Mm -hmm. And that spacing was clean as well. Not letting him, uh, not letting ZHT get in with those aerials. Oh, and, uh, 
almost connecting the back air that would have taken the stock. That's going to be a Zare into a lot of pressure. Oh, this pressure on the ledge. Definitely. You can just see how he's holding on the shield. He does not want to release it and get hit by back air. But at the same time, that's opened up a grab opportunity for CHT. Mm. And that's going to be a catch with that up there. And that's some breed for all those both two players going to find the stock. Is Waves going to be able to take that fourth game in order to make it to top 16? All right, that's going to be a back throw, difficult spot for ZHT. He's going to have to uh, mix up his recoveries a little bit and uh, try to avoid the back as we've seen. Oh, and that's going to be a spin dash into an up air. Waves takes it 3-1 versus the Paris players and makes it to losers round five. Switzerland is alive, boys. I can, I can get why you're excited, but we can just hear the French crowd just dying. Yeah, I'm sorry. One, about of, the that. one of their boys I are out, and they only got, I think, Hamika and Tag left, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Homika definitely a strong one. Uh, Tag! We yeah, saw his bear Yeah, they can still be excited about that. I mean, uh, Tag is still a prominent player, and we I actually got the else? biggest he of upsets, so. He might be the person we'll see in Grand Finals. Oh. Who knows? Mm. You never know. Grand Finals can be anything. <laughs> Grand Evil, Evil taught anything. us that much. I'm sorry. Evo taught us that yeah, much. <laughs> definitely, definitely. But well, um, again, very, very nice performance from Waves. That was a clean game plan execution, for yeah. sure. Uh, he, he wasn't even the, the, the conservative Sonic playstyle that I, I'm used to see from uh, no, no, from no. Waves. No. That was very much in your face, Sonic, to yeah, be honest. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, he understood that he had to keep the stage control. He has to make sure that CHT doesn't feel comfortable on the stage. Because absolutely. that's when it gets Abs very dangerous for Sonic. Absolutely. And he applied that very well without taking any paralyze of the set like one in the last game that's it it is so hard for a sonic to approach zss without getting back at without getting neutral and all that stuff you know when you get into uh, zss she uh, she gets into that passive aggressive machine uh, i don't know how to say that uh, the defensive spot of zss is amazing and when you get hit by uh, wh whatever neutral there is there or that stuff well waves actually managed to dodge all this kind of stuff and make it Two losers round five. All right, we're gonna have. All right, we're gonna have a 45 minutes break now, and then top eight is about to start. Uh, please stay tuned, guys. We're gonna definitely gonna have some exciting games with the uh, Paris players actually breaking through that winner semis uh, into tag. Uh, Swiss players still in somehow as well. I'm very excited to see all of that. See you in 45 minutes, guys. Yeah, see you. All right, and uh, hey stream, I'm your streamer um, from Hardread. As you can see, HR Director is my name. Um, we have a small announcement to make. Um, just let me switch over. Quite early this year, um, you may know our tournament series, The Reset, uh, also a very big event. Uh, we've got Smash as well. Of course, next year it's going to be Smash Ultimate. And as you can see, a lot of other games as well. So for anyone who enjoys Smash or any other fighting game, uh, I hope to see you there again. Um, we're quite early this year. We got our date already. Um, it's going to be in the same venue as last time. It's going to be in the same venue as last time. Eight months early. Oh, the reset. the reset. All right, all right. You need me. You need me yes. to say that tournament is going to be awesome, right? Oh, yes. Oh, <laughs> yes. I'm a promotional object. All right. <laughs> also, uh, we're going to... Uh, anyone who's been there, you're going to know what this means. No football next time. We're going to have the whole place to ourselves. Oh, this is awesome. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, last time we actually had like a, a finals of the European Championship or something? Yeah, like? it was like the, the World Championship football. World Championship, football actually. Going yeah, on, yeah, so yeah. And, it took and we didn't have the whole place to ourselves, so they, they, we still want to watch some games. This is not going to happen yeah. this time. We're going to have <laughs> the whole E-Paradise. The, the whole E-Paradise. in Zurich. If you guys, yeah, any, anybody, anybody that actually came to E-Paradise know how amazing the place is. Just imagine it's full of fighting games for a whole weekend. This is going to be amazing. I had an amazing time last time already. Even though there was some football going on, I don't mind <laughs> that much. Uh, but yeah, we can definitely expect some quality stuff from Hard Read, having our uh, beloved Basti directing it. Uh, yeah. Please come, please come. This is going to be awesome. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. yeah. Book, book your date already. We're, you have 
so much. Uh, you have the notice so far in advance this time. Yeah, yeah, I'm this, sure you this all is very uh, much can do in that. Advance. Yes. All right. Uh, yeah, but uh, you know, because we have to use the hype of Soul Calibur and Smash Ultimate releasing mm. soon, so we already need to push uh, it. Yeah, so. yeah. We're, we're pushing everyone to book yeah. uh, a weekend in June. Sounds yeah. good. Sounds good. All right. All right. So, yeah. Thank you much. I hope to see many of you there at the event. And yeah. Stay tuned for uh, the st for top eight. We're gonna start at at uh, quarter past one. So see you then. See you then. Forty-five minutes break. See you then, guys.